Hello, it's Lou Collins and thank you for joining me on my channel. Now today I want to create a card for you that's completely inspired by another artist. Um, I'll never create something that has been inspired or um, copied or anything like that without certainly crediting the original artist. I am going to be using my own products though, so I'm using the Texture Geometric range of stamps here. This is the Dragonfly and the Floral Stamp Set. Um, you can see the um, the artist that's inspired me. She's on Instagram, so I have linked her in the description below. So please do go over and give her a follow. I believe she has her own brand of um, stamps that she uses. And when I saw what she does with them, I thought absolutely I need to uh, do a similar sort of thing with these. So uh, there you go. Not all my own ideas, but hopefully I can execute it half as well as she does. So I'm going to be working with the dragonfly today and I'm going to, it's quite a big stamp actually, it's quite a good one, good size one so it's going to really fill a card so I'm just going to place it there. Now I'm working on craft card stock so I'm just going to bring in my stamping platform. Now for a change today rather than using things like inks that I usually use I'm going to be using pencils and I'm going to be using my Prisma colours. Um, I've got the full set here, I've had them for a long long time, I do not use them anywhere near enough. Now I have pulled a colour selection out, uh, the white and the brown are my neutrals but these are my five colours here so I've got kind of like a, a lime green, um, almost a yellow, a brighter green then, um, a turquoise, a dark blue and a mid blue. Um, I could give you the numbers of the pencils if you've got them but um, let me know and I'll drop them in the description if you need me to or in the comments. So I'm using a memento ink pad to ink this up, um, ink the dragonfly up so you can see the detail there starting to come through because I'm using my stamping platform as well. Um, I'm going to be able to go over and over this. So I'm stamping onto a really textured cardstock um, because it's so textured. Um, I'm probably gonna need a couple of impressions to get this as even as I possibly want it. So do you know what, that's not too bad actually. It's not far off at all. Um, included in the texture stamp set and geometrics here, uh, not only do we have the two large images, so one being the flower, one being the dragonfly, I think these are still available anyway, I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, check the link below to see where you can purchase these. Um, but you also have additional items, so there's additional triangles in there, uh, there's some honeycomb if you want to add those in too. Um, there's also, perfect, some sentiments here. So we've got beauty is everywhere, beautiful just the way you are, chase your dreams and let your spirit soar. So add those in and they all work really well. So there, I'm really happy with that, that's stamped nicely onto the craft cardstock. So I'll just pop this to the side. And now we need to start colouring. So to get the colour as deep as possible, I mean these are pretty good pencils, they usually the colour is really nice and bright anyway, um, but I'm going to go over the wings in the white first of all. Um, with these Prismacolor you do not need to um, color, press really hard at all. The rough texture of the craft cardstock is actually going to take a lot of that, uh, the grain is going to take the pencil, the color of the pencil, if that makes sense. It's, got, it's a bit like, imagine sort of sandpaper, it's going to pull it off. So I don't need to press very hard. And I'm just going over the white of the wings. I'm not worrying if I go over the lines too much either. Um, because that's kind of going to give a little bit of a almost a blurred image to the wings so it makes them look a little more translucent in fact what I might do is just go over the wings anyway rather than trying to stay within the lines there I'm just going to go over those geometric shapes that are in the wings I'm sticking within the outer shape of the dragonfly wings there but just inside I'll just go over the line so this is just putting a base layer down and this is really going to brighten up those colours as I lay them over the top. There we go. I'd love to know in the comments where you're watching from. Are you new to my channel? Have you been watching for a while? Um, I try and do a mixed media live usually on Facebook now on a Monday. Uh, picking my son up from his uh, annual camp that he's been on. Um, for a little while now so he's been there for 10 days I'm picking him up today so 
um, I can't do the live so I thought I'd quickly record this video get it up on YouTube today instead so uh, yeah that's why we've not got the live and you've got a video instead which is great we can go back and watch it as much as we want so now I'm going to start with the colour and I'm still going to stick to the um, the shapes that are within the dragonfly wings there and just do it quite random I'm going to probably lay a colour over as well but I am going to keep them symmetrical so whatever I do on one side I will repeat over on the other as well I only really want the tip of these so where I've coloured those in like that I'm then going to take a darker colour and just blend into one area of the triangle uh, the same here just to give that a little bit of difference now we'll get some grains going on there so and a little triangle there let's come up to this one let's come darker in this corner you see how bright that lovely green is showing up on the craft because I've put the white underneath there we go and blending those in as well I'm trying not to use my hands to do that although I've just done it and then going over with the uh, blue this is uh, it's the palest color of all going over that nice and lightly and building the color up gradually I'm not pressing down hard I don't want to start um, burnishing this in and causing it to um, create that effect where it's all sort of compacted ink and you can't do anything with it and then blending that teal into the ends so each block is going to have kind of its own its own base color and then a little bit of another color in there as well I just love these colors together anyway but then when they're mixed with uh, craft just absolutely beautiful so coming into the corner there and the same here so just to um, speed things up for you on this video just so you can see um, a little bit more in less time I'm going to just skip past this bit for you and um, so you can see the next stage and then the completed card at the end so I'm going to keep continue to color this in and when the entire dragonfly is colored in We'll come back and do the next bit. So there's the dragonfly all coloured in. The next step is to make the rest of the background pop ever so slightly and just make, make it look a little less flat. So I'm going to do that by fo focusing first of all on that circle that's around him and just going to very gently do a little bit of shading around it so we've got the black line I'm just going to shade some brown around the lines not a lot and this is again another one of the, those techniques that uh, I've been inspired to use by looking at the work of the artist that I've tagged um, and um, linked to from Instagram in the description so pop along and have a look at her work so just working some shadows on here with a dark brown now I don't believe she's done any tutorials I've simply taken uh, a lot of this from looking at her work but yeah definitely go and go and have a look and you'll see what I mean really beautiful and then I'm just going to go around these triangles as well so just at the moment just keeping it quite rough and just a little bit of shading not too much for now I don't want to do too much and then wish I could take it back and I'm using the edge of my pencil as well so it's a little less harsh it's more of a soft shadow just underneath these lines let's just start with my finger and just start to blend these a little bit so it's more of a, a, a blurred shadow than a line if you prefer to use um, you don't really want to use a pencil eraser because a pencil eraser will of course lift the colour off 
being careful around there because I've got the blues and such. There we go, and that's just added a little bit more dimension to those, and I can add even more in if I want to, certain areas, more shadows and such. So the dragonfly would definitely have a slightly deeper shadow on top because it is, of course, the main feature. So just adding darker shading there and probably this triangle and this circle, that's all. I'm not going to add deeper shadows to anything else this time. There we go. So again, a little bit of blending, not a lot. There, okay. Happy with that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, just to finish this off, and really just to put my own sort of spin on it, is to bring in some Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White. Now this is an ink that I usually use for calligraphy. I'm just going to take a tiny little paintbrush there. And every time I use this, I have to remix it. It does settle very quickly. Um, hopefully it's got enough liquid in there. Occasionally, if I haven't used it for a while, it's a little bit dry. Let's just see if we can get we can get some small splatters from this. If you need bigger splatters, you need to add more liquid so it's more fluid. And usually just, just a spritz of water would be enough. So let's take my water spritz, just, there we go, spritz in there. Give that a little, a little stir with the paintbrush. There we go, bigger splats. Perfect. Okay, very lastly, just to make this card my own, I'm going to use one of those sentiments that's in the stamp set. Um, I think I'm going to use, uh, let's use Beauty is Everywhere. So I'm going to stamp that and then just add that over the top of the dragonfly there. Now this particular sentiment stamp is uh, very detailed, very tiny intricate so you do need to make sure you've got a really good stamp a detail stamp so I'm using my memento with this that's perfect anything that's too juicy the ink will seep into the areas of the stamp that you want to leave white for the wording so you don't want anything that's too too uh, juicy or wet as an ink pad so just stamp those so I'll just trim those out now there I've added my sentiment beauty is everywhere and that card is finished so like i say pop over and see the original artist that i was inspired by linked below and if you love this um this geometrics stamp set let's just grab that for you um if you love this stamp set that's the dragonfly that i've just used we've also got the florals as well uh, this is from geometrics by textures um, yeah, I'll put the link in the bottom uh, in the description here for you so you can go and see that too. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like videos like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and hopefully I'll see you again very, very soon with another video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.